Welcome to Code Black's YouTube channel. In this video, I will be guiding you all on how to set up a 16x2 LCD panel with an Atmega32 chip. Let's get started. First of all, let's look on to the basic pin configuration and the idea of 16x2 LCD panel. By the term 16 by 2 gives you the idea that it can output 32 characters, 16 in one line and 16 in the other. And we have 8 data pins and 8 other pins. The VSS and VEE will be connected to the ground and VEE is used to adjust the contrast of the panel. And VDD is connected to power while RS is used to register selection. When RS is at low, it will select command register and when RS is at high, it will select data register. E is the enable pin and RW is used to select on a read or write operation. When RW is set to low, it will be in write operation mode and uh, when RW is set to high, it will be in read operation mode. The 8 pins starting from D0 to D7 are data pins. An LED A will be connected to a 5 watt power while LED K is connected to ground. And these pins are used to control the backlit. In this part, I will be teaching you about the preprocessors and the initiating process of LCD panel with our code. As we all do in this code also, we are going to set the clock speed of the CPU as 16 megahertz. And we are using a major header file AVR input output and utility delay. And also, we are including a special file it, lcd.h. It is a header file which is used to control and execute the codes on LCD. As we saw in the initial part of this video, as the LCD panel has various port, we have to configure and set each ports with the pins of atmega32 chip so in this part we're going to do that we are setting the port p with eight pins as the data port of lcd and we are selecting the port d as the control port and for the enable pin we are selecting port d7 and for the right port we are selecting pd6 and for rs we are selecting the pin pd5 this can be vary according to your use you can set any port any port as an output for lcd and any port for this controlling section as we all discussed in the earlier part we have set the port b of the Atmega32 chip as the out, output data port for this LCD screen. So we are connecting the po po port D0 up to D7, these 8 pins with the po port B is PB0 up to PB7 in the respective manner. And we are defined the port D7th as the enable and port D6 as RW and port D5 as RS in our code. So as we define we are connecting those pins with the respective pins in that Mega32 chip. Next we are connecting the VEE and VSS to the ground and VD with the power source so these are the basic setup of lcd with the atmega32 chip now let's look on how to 
get outputs from the LCD panel using our code. For this, we will be using two major commands. One is LCD write and the other one is LCD write string. In the LCD write string, you can output a whole string while the LCD write command will only output a character at a time. When you sending a character, you have to use single exclamation marks, single marks for LCD write and for LCD write string, you have to quote it like this or else you will be having syntax errors. This is the code used by us in this session in order to get our required output subscribe to code black so initially as i explained in the earlier videos i am setting that port b as a data output port so ddrb is now equal to 0xff and port d is set to the control signal port so I am using the command 0x e0. Next, I have used a command known as initialize init LCD, which is used to initialize the LED panel, which will switch on it and clear the screen and set the cursor to 1 comma 1 position. And as you all know, this is the delay MS10. Uh, command which will delay the next command by 10 millisecond and next i'm using a command lcd command 0x 0c this will set the display on and the cursor off so during this time the lcd panel will be turned on but the cursor will not be shown and after 10 millisecond delay i have used the leds write string code which is used to display this string after a 100 millisecond delay i have used another command lcd cmd 0xc0 this is another important command which is used to move the cursor from one line to another line's initial position. So the 0xc0 command of LCD will move the cursor to the start of the second line. And again it will delay a hundred millisecond and it again execute this code LCD write string and it will output the string code black and it will again delay about 100 millisecond and finally it will execute a command lcd command 0x01 this is another important command this command is used to clear the screen so in this section i have used lcd command 0x0c to on the cursor on the display and off the cursor and 0xc0 to move the cursor to the start of the second line and 0x01 to clear the screen these are some important commands used while stimulating lcd you as i said before 0x01 is used to clear the screen and 0x0 is used to display on and cursor in a blinking mode and 0x0a to off the display and cursor on like this there are many codes which will be essential in order to your need while building your project so if you want anything you can pick this one and with the lcd command function you can send a uh, using now let's look on how we compile the code and execute our process for 
initially write the code as I instructed earlier and also I will be attaching the code in the description as well you can use that for your reference as you all can see I have defined the paper scissors I have defined the ports and I have defined the function inside int main function I am defining the LCD stimulation and the most special part is I have included the LCD header file what you have to do is to include a header file into a GCC application right click on the application in solution explorer go to add and press to existing item and select the header file where you have it or else you can copy and paste your header file into the application file which you created and also I will be providing you a header file of this LCD and you can download it and you can select and press add so as I have already included I do have to do that so when you write the code and execute it initially you have to right click on this and go to add and select existing item and include the downloaded LCD header file after adding the header file you can see it right below the library file so now this code is ready to be executed so let's build this code so you can see there aren't any errors and it shows like build succeeded so now let's go to the proteus and set up our things and let's start our stimulation okay now you all can see i have set up everything as i explained to you i have set all the data pins with the output pins of the atmega32 and the con command pins with the command pins and power and everything so now it's time to load our hex file into the atmega32 chip for that double click on that and it will open an edit component menu in this program file bro click to the browse icon and it will pop up a window like this and choose the hex file which you compile and click open now the code is loaded to at mega32 chip so press ok now what we have to do is just click the press button and it will start stimulating so since I use the 0x01 command it will clear the screen at last so that's all for now thanks for watching hope this was very informative session for you all and gave you a clear idea idea on how to do the stimulation so hope to see you all soon with another informative section thank you if you like our content subscribe to our channel and like this video